Now in its third day, Operation Odyssey Dawn gathered steam as aircraft from more and more countries joined American jets in enforcing a no-fly zone over Libya. Their mission is limited to stopping Gaddafi from attacking his own people. But the commander-in-chief, monitoring events while on a state visit to Chile, wants to stop Gaddafi, period. It is U.S. policy that Gaddafi needs to go. Force of arms alone may not be able to give the president what he wants. The commander of the operation said it's possible Gaddafi could come out of this still in power. I could see uh, accomplishing the military mission which has been, which has been assigned to me and the current leader uh, would, would remain the current leader. Is that ideal? I don't think anyone would say that that is ideal. General Carter Ham insisted he is not out to get Gaddafi. I have no mission uh, to, uh, to attack that, that person, um, and we are not doing so. Ham described his mission, launch cruise missiles and stealth bombers to destroy Gaddafi's air defenses, enforce a no-fly zone, strike any Libyan ground forces that attack civilians, starting with Benghazi in the east and pushing west toward Tripoli. That's what the resolution passed by the U.N. Security Council calls for. That military operation will almost certainly succeed. But as long as Gaddafi remains in Tripoli, it may not feel like success. Katie? David Martin at the Pentagon. David, thank you.